It's now time for Me and My Roku with host Peter Clay. Paramount Plus Peacock on Apple AirPlay. Incidentally, this is Peter. So we have a voicemail now from Peter. Pete, you are not. (laughs) Not everybody sounds like Peter Clay. More CEOs named Peter. Peter Clay is here today. Holy crap, it's Peter. I've already forgotten his name. Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to another scintillating, fascinating, and delicious episode of Me and My Roku. I'm your host, Peter Clay. Welcome aboard. The show is about me and my adventures with the Roku. Welcome aboard if you're just joining us for the first time and all that stuff, because we're getting brand new audiences every time I do a new show. This is very, very exciting. And glad you could join me as I discover different things. Now, here's a brief little introduction, if you're new to the program. I'm a guy just living deep in the heart of the Midwest in the United States of America, and about 10 years ago, oh, almost 11, I cut the cord, and I was hooking up my laptop to the TV, you know, with an S-video cord, and then either a dongle or a Y cable for the audio and all that good stuff, and gosh, I... I was thinking to myself, there's got to be a better way than this because I'm bucking the system. I'm finding different programs and different things to watch, really not missing anything from cable, just a different way to connect to the TV instead. And just thinking, is there a better way? And all of a sudden, like magic, here is this thing called the Roku. And on a Black Friday 2009 I ordered that up, and the only thing I had to pay for, actually, I don't even think I had to pay for anything at all, just a little one-day shipping charge, and boom, it was there the next day, and my life hasn't been the same ever since. So hopefully you're on the same train, that's why you're here and all that stuff, or if you're just looking for just little things, all it is is about a guy and what he does, and then hopefully you get some ideas for yourself and go, oh, that guy can do it, I can do it, and all that stuff. So. Join in on the fun. We got lots of stuff, okay? Took a little time off. Uh, There was a bunch of things that were going on, and instead of breaking news, I decided to fix it. So I just kind of wanted to let things settle a little bit, kind of let things calm down a little bit, and then we can kind of see where things are at and all that stuff. So we got plenty to get to, so let's get started. Okay, well, the first bit of news we have to deal with is a name change. Yes, why not change your name? Makes you feel better, makes you feel important, makes you feel relevant. I've known for some time now that uh, ever since CBS and Viacom merged back together, they were kind of, how do how do I say this here? It's like your brother and your sister, and uh, you have the same parents, but you're two different things type of thing. So, well, they decided to amalgamate and become one and became CBS Viacom. Or is it Viacom CBS? Ah, either way, either or, doesn't really matter. So anyway, I've known for a long time that with CBS All Access, they were going to do something to kind of not just make them seem relevant or anything like that, but they're they're doing more things. And it doesn't seem like CBS was the brand that they wanted to go to. So if you're doing movies, you're doing sports, and you're doing specials and all that, along with CBS programming, is to be an all-encompassing entity. I need a brand to to acknowledge that and to put that out there for you and all that stuff. So they decided to go with the name change, and the name is Paramount Plus. Yes, the staple of Viacom, Paramount Pictures, the big mountain, you know, the big logo. So that's what they're going with. And uh, I'm agnostic to these things. Name don't really mean matter to me. They all are kind of bad in in one regard. I remember having very nice conversations, pleasant, but yet uh, disagreeing conversations with the reason my PlayStation View didn't make it was because of the name. It was too confusing. Um, I disagreed wholeheartedly on that, but because why would PlayStation? They're trying to come out with a new version and all that stuff. You got Nintendo and you got Microsoft on your heels and all that stuff. You want to focus on these things and not, oh, I want more money for my channels. Anyway, so Paramount Plus is what it'll uh, launch in early 2021, and not much is really going to change other than the name and 
they'll probably do some interface changes and all that stuff. So it's going to be, as far as we know, same price, same deals, same things. I know some people are saying, well, is, is it going to be on the Roku then? All that's changing is the name and some branding and some features and stuff like that. So as far as I know, and anything can change at any time in this game that we're in here. Uh, but that's the deal for now. Paramount Plus, look for that. And new season of Picard and the Champions League uh, soccer, football, uh, all that good stuff. So, now, the, the one thing that Viacom was thinking about doing was kind of having tiers, having your free tier, a premium tier, and then a subscription thing or other way around. So basically, they're just going to leave everything alone as is. So Pluto TV is your free, and it's ballooning and growing, expanding and doing all its things. Then Paramount Plus, that's going to be replacing CBS All Access. And then Showtime is just going to be Showtime. It's a premium subscription as it is. If you are an Apple TV Plus subscriber, you can get CBS All Access and Showtime for one price. Two for the price of one. And you have to watch it through your Apple TV app then on your Roku. But other than that, great deal. And plenty more to come from Paramount Plus. Woohoo! Here on me and my Roku. Okay, now more news and the news we've all been waiting for as Roku users ever since it first debuted. Here it is. Comcast, NBC Universal, and Roku have come to an agreement. And now Peacock is available on your Roku. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> sort of. Actually, on your, if you have older Rokus and all that stuff, it's not going to show up on there very likely. So you need to have the most recent uh, Roku. So my Roku 3 is the oldest one I have, and it works on there. So I'm set fine and dandy. So if it's not showing up in your Roku, it may be time to look for a new Roku. And they're on sale. So look at that. So, okay, here's the deal. I'm going to give you the Tom Merritt version of the story. He is the host of the Daily Tech News Show and a competing podcast, Court Killers. Uh, well, co competing sounds nasty. Uh, let's say complimentary, let's just say, because they do do things differently. They basically talk about what they watch and all that stuff and give you the news and all that stuff. I just tell you what I do all that stuff, and pass things along. Anyway, the Tom Merritt version of the story is that the uh, NBC Universal Comcast and Roku had an agreement for all the things on Roku, and they expired uh, in, say, August. You're listening to this in July. It's no big deal. But anyway, the contract ended, and Roku was saying, hey, no big deal. We'll just continue on. We're not going to be that way. We're not going to be nasty and all that stuff. We're not going to kick you out. And according to Tom Merritt, that didn't sit well with Comcast NBC Universal. Now, why would you not want free deal laws? Hey, I don't know. But anyway... They said, no, 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 no. We need to renegotiate right now and include Peacock. And apparently then, based on that, they had like 48 hours to get this done, and they did. Okay? Now, I have no uh, reason to that the, why that story shouldn't hold water and all stuff. His wife works for Rotten Tomatoes, which is part of the Comcast NBC Universal Universe. Uh, either way, it doesn't really make any difference. Everyone, It's a win-win-win for everybody. Comcast is on there. And all this stuff. So they've been surviving because they're a big conglomerate. They have their own hardware, their own cable customers that they've been throwing this on and all that stuff to. Maybe as a loss leader. Who knows? So my version of the story is kind of like this. Is we can renegotiate. And if we don't do this, we're going to go home. And Roku says, okay, here's how much you're going to be losing. And Comcast said, oh. Kind of like the face my cardiologist said when i was having a heart attack he said, hi everybody how's it going <gasps> oh when he looked at my ekg so that's one story who knows it doesn't matter we all win right now they comcast has their thing on roku has peacock and we get to watch it hey and as i've said before about peacock it's pretty good why not another thing to waste your time on uh, and it's getting better. This is probably the worst it's going to be. So it's going to continue to grow. Some others that have started up may be a little better at launch, a little bit more available and stuff, but 
pretty good. Why not? So there you have it. Calm, cool, and collect. Now, what does this mean? There's only one left now. That means HBO Max. Still not available on the Roku as we talk right now. What does that mean? Uh, nothing, really. Uh, the HBO app is still on now. <laughs> we need to go through all that stuff again. So just what's ever on regular HBO and you have a cable subscription or you can order it yourself, you can get it on your Roku. But if you want friends and Scooby-Doo and some of these other things, anything that's not an HBO part of HBO Max, that's not available to you. So we'll see. And HBO is still doing pretty well. It's uh, ranked eighth on the Roku premium charts ahead of Apple TV and Showtime, their competitors. But they're one behind stars. Found that a little interesting. So there you have it. Peacock, now available for you on your Roku here on me and my Roku. Okay, so when I was doing the research on the Peacock story and HBO, I did a deeper dive. Having that extra time allowed me to explore a little more and all the stuff, do a little deeper dive into the rankings on Roku when I was looking for HBO and see how they were doing. And came across some things I thought were a little interesting and saw some things that are out there. Maybe a good thing to just explore what's available on your Roku every now and then. Again, it's theirs to discover and explore, not just straight to Netflix right away and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so I did a deep dive into the charts, took a look, and uh, first couple, no surprises whatsoever that the top uh, rankings on Roku are Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+. Plus. That's not to be unexpected there. Uh, then it got a little interesting. Uh, next was Pandora, CBS All Access, and Spotify. So two music channels and a channel that's going to be rebranding itself. But Seemingly doing pretty well. It's in the top 10. Actually, in the top six. There you have it. Then uh, Stars, HBO, Apple TV, Showtime, BritBox, Acorn TV. And finally, this was a little head scratcher to me, Newspaper Wall. <laughs> what the heck is Newspaper Wall? Well, for $1.99 a month, you can read the front page of U.S. daily newspapers. And then you use it as a screensaver. So you set the ones you want and all that stuff. And you can watch just the front page in 4K. There you have it for $1.99. If you still remember what newspapers are. And if that's important to you. you for $1.99, you can get a subscription and get the front page. There you have it. That rounds out your top 10. Now, it was they say it's updated every morning between 7 and 9 a.m. And this is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine says Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Now, by the time you're listening to this, it may actually be Eastern Standard Time or Standard Time. But uh, yeah, it's uh, actually daylight saving time. It's not savings, saving time. That's another pet peeve of mine. So there you have it. Updated every morning around, well, six o'clock my time. And so when you wake up, you can turn on your Roku and maybe the front page screensaver. I have the fishes myself. I just like that little fish ball. Look for the little clownfish hiding away in there. All that stuff. So remember, those are all right there. So all you got to do is just go where it says the top things on your Roku there, they're the channels, and they're in order of their rankings. That's how you figure that out. So check that out today and discover something new for your Roku here on Me and My Roku. Ooh, Maria. Oh, San Eloio, you know. Hey. Okay, kids, come a little closer here. Gather around. Not too close. Keep the social social distancing in place. No masks required. We've all been tested. It's all good. But a little bit closer here so we can have a little chit chat. Once again, the bandwidth of this podcast and everything I've ever done is provided by the Internet Archive. Check them out today at archive.org. Thank them and love them for everything that they do and everything that they are. Fabulous projects going on over there. Too many to even discuss right now. So just go ahead and check that out today at archive.org. And your mind will thank you and like you'll and see what's available. And you'll just be like, holy smokes. That is wonderful stuff. Now, we are creatures of habit. And I know that 
<laughs> one of the things with the Roku is like, oh yeah, let's just go to Netflix. Let's just do this again. I implore you to explore. I also implore you to explore on the podcast front. This is a podcast. So wherever you find us and all that stuff, maybe dare to explore other options and stuff like that. I have done that myself. I was doing the beta on the, for the iOS 14 on my iPhone and got a little wonky on me on the podcast app. And I finally decided, well, maybe I should try something else. And there are so many different podcast apps out there, and maybe you can gravitate to one and explore. You may, after a while, just decide, you know what, where I'm at is fine. But you don't know unless you try and all this stuff. So one other option out there, just want to try it. We are now available on Amazon Music. I talked about this before, probably when I shouldn't have, <laughs> but that's okay. And that is now available to you as well. I actually kind of like the format there easy. It's kind of like Spotify. And so wherever you're at, maybe just try something a little different. Google podcast is also very good. Uh, tune in everything else. They're all good, but maybe something there strikes you the way you just, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, a better way of queuing them up may be available to you on some of the other ones. So just worth a try and just let you know that we're out there. And so if you're recommending the show to somebody, just let them know, Hey, you got Amazon music. Well, you can now get me in my Roku. Hey, yeah. Are you looking for family fights, epic meltdowns? How about uh, some brides that are just not letting anything stand in the way of their dream wedding? Check out Bridezilla's. Or you need even bigger dose of reality? How about all the best shows on demand like Love After Lockup, Marriage Boot Camp, and Growing Up Hip Hop? Oh, all that stuff. So sports not doing it for you right now with no fans and all that stuff. And baseball's now almost over and kind of leaving a little sour taste in your mouth and all that stuff, and you don't need all that expense of having to get sports channels and all that stuff, well, Philo is the answer for you. 60-plus channels, and then only $20 a month after that. And all those shows I just talked to you were out there and all that stuff, MTV, Food Network, all the different the TLC, anything that you can possibly imagine, and all different genres of television available to you. First week is on me. So check it out today at philo.memyroku.com at uh dot com so i'd screw that up let's say that one more time philo dot me my roku dot com check it out today first week on me and then only twenty dollars a month for over 60 plus channels we're getting close to that holiday season folks and they have all the hallmark channels and just christmas and gazebos and all that stuff to snowflakes and all that stuff oh love abound gets you in that holiday spirit check it out today philo dot me my roku dot com Okay, some news and notes, and quite a bit of it today. So, just as YouTube TV had added NFL Network and Red Zone, just as I had clicked the button and said, that's what I'm going with, well, about a week later, <laughs> seemingly it seemed like Sling TV then decided, hey, we'll get in on this. And they are like, what? You're actually going to play the games? <laughs> okay, we're into that. So, yes. NFL Network and Red Zone are back on Sling TV, if you wish. Uh, you have to at least get Sling Blue, because that's where the NFL Network resides. And then you have to add the sports package, but just like anything else with any others. So now Fubo TV, YouTube TV, and Sling, if you want NFL action on your Roku. Uh, in the Here We Go Again category, why not? YouTube TV will remove all Sinclair branded, let's say that again, all Fox branded Sinclair regional sports networks as of this recording. By the time you hear this, they're gone. Now, if you're having a little case of deja vu on that, we had this issue back in the spring where YouTube TV says, you know, we're taking them off. That's it. And then Sinclair said, well, they're being nasty and they're being bad and we're going to take our content and go home. And then just as baseball preseason spring training was about ready to start, they go, okay, sorry. Huh? And they made it through the baseball season, the NHL and NBA bubbles. And now they're saying, yeah, no more. And in fairness, there'll be no more sports along those lines until at least January. So at least another three months. So it might be in everyone's best interest just to say, hey, let's see how life goes on for a little while. 
And then on the other hand, maybe Sinclair maybe might want to rethink and rebrand or something along those lines about what they want to do and where they want to go forward from this because they they seem to be a little pain in the butt in some of this stuff. So I thought at t and Comcast were dinosaurs. Well, Sinclair is making it look, uh, make them look childish. So anyway, we'll see you there. Okay, big news. Big, big announcements from Roku. A new stream bar being available in mid-October. Stream bar, a little downsized from the sound bar, but basically the same features. Roku built in and sideways action for kind of simulate stereo sound and all that stuff. And then if you want the full home theater experience and all that stuff, that will be available when you connect them to the Roku speakers and the, su- and the subwoofer, just like the soundbar, but a little different and a little less expensive, about one twenty nine ninety nine. New Roku Ultra with Dolby Vision. And they're claiming a 50% more consistent connectivity. So for all you people who have been writing me and asking me, hey, my thing won't connect. So apparently they're aware of actually some sort of connection issue. I would say new routers that are coming up, different things that might help as well too. So they're at least acknowledging that stuff and trying to do better. Those are all available coming soon. Uh, Roku will also be operating, um, Upgrading the OS 9.4 coming up. And this is interesting. It's going to also include an app that will allow you to use Apple AirPlay and the HomeKit. Hmm, interesting. So remember when we were talking earlier in the program that HBO Max is the only holdout? Now they're just going to say, you know what? We don't need to negotiate with you because if you have an iPhone or an iPad or anything along those lines, You can now get HBO Max on there and just airplay it to your Roku. And it also answers the question that somebody asked me a couple weeks ago about uh, Apple Podcasts as well then, too, then shipping on over. So that's exciting. And also in uh, mid-October then as well, if you buy a new, uh, that's about the time when those two will be available. Um, You'll be able to get three months of Apple TV Plus as well. So Roku making deals with Apple. How about those? Uh, st- sticking with Roku, they're going to update the Roku channel, new interface, and more programming. Yay. Plus, you'll be able to take the Roku channel with you because they'll be having a new app. It'll be available on iOS and Android. So big stuff coming for Roku just in time for the holiday season. <laughs> so good stuff there. So, well, hey, I better get that... Uh, my Roku, I'm getting a little itchy, a little twitchy there. Kind of a long show today. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to thank archive.org for once again providing the bandwidth for this podcast and all the podcasts I've ever done. Check them out today at archive.org. More updates on anything that I'm doing along these lines. Check out the fabulous website, meandmyroku.com. And as a special gift for me to you, don't forget about your seven day free trial of Philo at philo.meandmyroku.com. If you want to be just like me, get a little crazy, get a little nuts, and find out all the different ways that I can afford all this programming, all that stuff, all the gift cards I get and everything like that, check that out today at swagbucks.radioaffliction.com. You can and may, and please subscribe to the Me and My Roku podcast. That helps me out so much and spreads the love and all that stuff. I am on just about every format. Are you ready for the list? I get a list. Here it comes. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Ghana, GeoSavin, SoundCloud, YouTube, iHeartMedia, Podbean, Pandora, and Radio.com. Follow me on Twitter at Radio Affliction. And if you want more personal one-on-one questions or anything along those lines, email me personally at me and my Roku podcast at gmail.com. Hey, I hope you're enjoying you and your Roku as much as I'm enjoying me and my Roku. And I'll be back with you real soon.